Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today I have something for you short range burst fire brawl lovers. I am playing the Broiler today guys and this build is super super cool because it can overpower your enemies quite quickly because we just have a massive amount of upfront burst fire here. Look at that, our Alpha Strike says a 60, uh, sorry 76. However, we are running two Ultra Auto Cannon 20s which means we can double tap them which means there is a, another burst of damage coming out if they don't jam. And that means our total burst fire alpha strike is a 116, which is amazing, guys. You can just, just grind through enemies' armor so quickly if you hit them properly. The build consists of the two Ultra Auto Cannon 20s because we have an interesting quirk here. There we go. Down here we can see we have an Ultra Auto Cannon 20 HSL plus one quirk, which means we can shoot both of them at the same time, which means we are not generating ghost heat, which means we can just open up enemies and punch some big holes into them. The build is supplemented by three SRM6s with Artemis, and yeah, that makes it very makes it a very good short-range brawler. However, we are only running a 300 rated engine on a 90 toner, which makes us quite quite slow. We are running 54 kph, so it's not the fastest mech in the universe. The thing could normally run a 325 engine, which brings us to decent speed, but it's still good enough. And as you can see, we we have a good chunk of heat sinks here. We are running 17 total to actually keep the mech cold. Because once in a fight, you gotta power through. You gotta overwhelm your enemies and then come out of it alive, hopefully. And this is kind of the whole idea of that. It just comes in, it destroys, and then it continues forward. That's what we're gonna be doing. It's a wrecking ball. Now, in terms of skill build, you can see this is a bit all over the place here, but I wanted to get magazine capacity so that we have more shots, and I wanted to UAC jam duration node so we can fire more often, and uh, even if we jam, we have a quicker unjam time. Also, I was getting some high explosives here. No missile rack, no missile spread, none of that, because I wanted to save some points for more important stuff that you will see in a second. What we need is heat management, mostly. So, let's um, try to get those heat gen nodes here, those down here, those down here, and of course, cooldown doesn't hurt either when we are going down the firepower tree to get the uh, the violet notes down here. That's pretty good. What we also want is survivability because, again, this is a brawler. This thing will stick to the front line and will stay in the fight for a good chunk of time. Therefore, I was maxing out armor hardening. Not quite getting all of the skeletal density notes, but um, I think it is still good enough for that. What we do desperately need is cool run. So this mech needs to, as I was saying, uh, stay as cold as possible so we can shoot as long as possible and get ourselves out of a tricky fighting situation. Again, running is not really an option in most cases, therefore go in and fight. We have rated deprivation here and that's kind of debatable because, you know, you are in the fight for quite a long time and you don't really care about disengaging, so those points could actually go into maybe heat containment and some skeletal density nodes, but I like to have them just so that I can sneak up on the front line and not are getting pestered by missiles early on. Um, also, it's worth noting that you could also go for double cool shot to even keep the mech colder. Um, but, you know, I was uh, just using the, the one point here, the value point, to get a UAV on top of a cool shot. And that's kind of my build. And I wish you all a lot of fun at the two games that are coming now. As always, guys, if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing <laughs> Domination on HPG Manifold. I think this is gonna go sideways here because we are so slow, but we will see about that. Luckily, uh, we have a good chunk of assault max who will maybe bind our enemies in a nice fight but you know this is uh, this is the drawback of a low rated engine so eh, let's see if we can get into a nice spot here we gotta watch this because we might have enemies around who are trying to backstab us already you know some pesky pesky light max and uh, then we're gonna try to get to the center of the map in instantly absolutely instantly uh, okay, let's check it out again. I want to see if somebody is maybe going up that ramp or maybe coming around here. Cool thing is, guys, we have the arm mobility, so that's very nice. Watching this ramp now, uh, I see somebody. There was a Hellbringer, I believe. Very quick glance uh, told me that there was something that brings hell. Uh, like this? This also brings hell. Oh, beautiful. That Stormcrow got beat up. Problem is, the NASCAR is on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, should have maybe taken the ramp. Yeah, we could have actually established dominance on the high ground, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. I wanna, I wanna meet up with the team before we do anything because uh, a mech alone is a dead mech, especially when it's slow and overpowered by three, four, five enemies at the same time. So Orion, what is that? I wanna see. I wanna. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, this guy's just standing there. Is he kind of disconnected? Is he AFK? No. Now he is dead. That's what he is. What is that? A huntsman. I really don't wanna. Actually, I want to go for that guy. Oh, he's all alone. Poor guy. 
Uh, guys, let's not focus too much on the Huntsman. Kill him quickly and then turn around. Negative? Negative? I mean, we have enemies behind us, that's all I'm saying. Like Echo or Delta 5. Ooh, that's a UAV. Let's take it down. Negative. Good. So, putting up my own UAV. And here we go! We have enemies behind us! As I was saying, let's uh, push all of them. And... Ooh, crap. That's, uh, that's bad, dudes. That's really bad. We took a great chunk of damage there. So, that large laser? Mm, it hurts, dudes. It really hurts. But a kabow, but a kabow. Let's go, though. Uh, not looking good, guys. Oh, man, the large lasers. I gotta go. I really gotta go. Turning around is better. Turning around is faster. That's the thing. Let's go for Mr. Cyclops again. Um, I mean, he's a brawler. Oh, God, this team cohesion. It's kind of killing me. It's also killing this blackjack, by the way. Got him. I mean, he's down. What is he? <laughs> what is happening here? You didn't get the Cyclops yet. Guys, come on. There we go. That's what we needed. So, Lightmare coming up. Oh, everybody is stepping on each other's toes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's really hard to maneuver in this game here. Ah, okay. So, this time, I'd say... Boom. We're gonna get that guy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, if we can get into a position like this, it's really amazing. Oh, crap. That's not good. Maybe it is. I don't know. Could not quite get him. Okay, we got him. <laughs> Boom. And we are, in fact, overheating. Oh, man. I wish I had another cool shot. Get Orby. Come on. Get him. Get him, please. Kill him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so 10 and 2. I mean, this mech is designed for just going in, but uh, I didn't expect the Sun Spider to be right in front of me. I wanted to actually um, turn around and get inside, like like this down there, the Mad Cat, yeah. Um, I wanted to get uh, turn around and get inside, but then I had like an enemy in front of me and enemies behind me at the same time. So unexpected drop was unexpected, but we got it in the end anyway. So yeah, I mean, this is the thing. We just go in and just burst the enemies down with this build. Good job, you can't bro. just do that. So, let's uh, have a look at the end score. Probably like 600 damage, I guess. Uh, 741. So, yeah, I thought we weren't that much in the fight. But honestly, we got uh, three killing blows, five assists, uh, three solo kills, even with three kill most damage dealt, soaked up 621 and destroyed six components. That was only the first round. So, let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing Conquest on the Grim Plexus. Let's go towards Theta and see what we can do there. All right. So, um, um, also, what is going on in our uh, Charlie lands? We have a Corsair 7A, that's pretty nice, because they usually bring a lot of AMS to the table. We have an Atlas, okay, and a Cataphrag. Other than that, uh, there's a Highlander 2C, a Black Knight, a Grasshopper, a Vapor Eagle, Ice Ferret, another Black Knight, a Rifleman, and a Vapor Eagle. We have good firepower on the board. So, I would say, with this setup, we can make a lot happen. The problem is, Grim Plexus is a pretty open map, and in Conquest specifically, people are just roaming around everywhere. Which means, getting close to our enemies in a nice bulk of mechs is gonna be a struggle. So, let's see what we can do. Alright. So, uh, battle map. Let's, uh, let's talk about the battle map, battle map real quick. I wanna go over here to the Foxtrot 7 area, because my enemies will most likely go to Golf 7, and then me maybe... It's a lot of, you know, um, maybes and ifs and thens here, but maybe we can get things done there. A thousand meters ECM, what do we have there? There was a, oh, there's a Vapor Eagle as well, and you can see PPCs are already flying. Oh boy, that's not great. What's that? A Black Knight. Um, yeah, I want to pair up with the Black Knight. Um, I will push towards the Foxtrot 7 area. I bring my boiler, my broiler even, my broiler, not the boiler. So, <laughs> we are not cooking water here. We're gonna grill some stuff. So, Ice Ferret on the left side, he just captured something. A thousand meters Vapor Eagle with ATMs. Man, these guys are so nasty. They can just roam around and just quickly expose themselves and drop a massive amount of damage on you without, you know, even breaking sweat. Um, what's my Black Knight status? It's still 100% uh, health, which is good to know. So, he didn't really get shot yet. Or maybe he didn't really get hit yet. They get Epsilon. Also good to know. There is a capture process in the process. Which means that uh, probably the Vapor Eagle went there. And yeah, more people are coming. That's a Vapor Eagle. Oh man, do they have multiples or was that one? I don't know. More PPCs flying. I just heard something. But yeah, here we are. Oh my god, here we are. Um, Sure, I will push through. 
I will just go for it. Ah, not quite, man. Can we, can we get it done? No, no, we cannot. We cannot, again. There is a lot of stuff happening. Crap. And we took a lot of damage already. Anyway, um, I instantly popped my UAV on a spot where there's already a UAV. I'm pushing high ground now. I want you to come if you can, please. Thank you. Would be great. Good damage on the eagle. There's a strike coming down as well. There's strikes freaking everywhere. Hey, Irby. All right, that's some serious damage here. I wanna definitely go for Mr. Urban Mac. I mean, he needs to go. Come on over here. I'm gonna help you, buddy. Got some damage in. That's serious. And that's what I mean, those Vapor Eagles. Holy crap. We gotta get hold of them. That's another strike. Is that crazy or is that crazy? Uh, okay, so Atlas is pushing with us. All right, guys, push Fox 8 now. Yeah, look at these skirmishers. I mean, they will fall like crazy, though. We gotta get our autocannons back. Good, good damage. Very good damage. Atlas is still pushing. Oh my god, we have a mini NASCAR going on. I don't care about the back strikes, though. Let's get up on the high ground. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm completely stuck. Let's get here. Great, 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 great. Guy in the, around the corner here. I Got something. Yeah, he's dead. Got him. Uh, Shadow Cat next. Go for the legs there. People behind me. Gotta turn around now. Crazy brawl. I don't know what to shoot anymore. There is so much going on. Six and zero. Let's go over here because there's also a fight down there. Hello. Um, 200 and something meters is what we need. Wow, that brawl was intense. Mm, I'm getting shot in the butt. I don't like it. So where is the grasshopper? <laughs> oh, there we go. It's, a, it's another vapor eagle who is desperately trying to get out of this. And yeah, we have him cornered between a rock and the hard place. We have an atlas and me as the boiler. Broiler. Boom. Come on. There we go. So hopper down. Veagle down. Shut down. Override. <laughs> <laughs> what a rush, guys. I'm having the time of my life right now. This mech is so cool. Oh, man. There's just the, the ability to overpower enemies like that is incredible. Fun fact. We can actually try to hit that. And we hit him. <laughs> Did he stop? See? We have range. That was our last ultra auto cannon shot. Cool thing is, again, we can shoot at 400 meters. If we shoot at 600, we deal half damage still, which is uh, a lot. Like, 40 damage, which is, against the mislings, pretty, pretty good. Good game, everybody. We got four killing blows, seven assists. We got uh, three kill most damage dealt, two solos even, 650 damage done, 340 taken with eight components destroyed. Again, it was a super messy fight, and I was so happy to have that Atlas around here. So, good job, Cardax. Thank you. So yeah, that was your daily dose for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.